going to show you a neat case I got for uh, a couple of my lenses, but specifically for the 200 to 500 millimeter Nikkor. It's called the 8 case. They make it in two different sizes, medium, large. This is the large one. Um, comes with a strap. I actually replaced the strap that it came with with one of my own with uh, metal buckles. However, it's an identical strap to the one that I currently have here. It's uh, $35 on Amazon.com. Check the link below. I have no connection monetarily with Amazon. If you click on the link and purchase one, it has nothing to do with me. So anyway, there's a uh, plastic buckle here, a dual connected zipper here. I did try it with a vertical grip on my Nikon uh, D500 and it does fit. It's a tight fit, but not super tight. I also tried it with an Nikon D3. Works perfectly fine. The only thing you actually have to do is uh, cinch out uh, the connector strap uh, a little bit and it pooches up the top a bit, but uh, the Nikon uh, D500 uh, with the vertical grip and the Nikon D3, which is basically the same thing as a vertical grip, fits in here fine. This is how it sits flush with the top of the case with the 200 to 500 with the lens hood on it inverted with the lens hood actually inverted pointed back towards the camera. Um, it sits even lower than this by this much obviously so because there's a one inch uh, spacer that this case comes with a yellow removable spacer and uh, with it removed the camera sits a little too low so I left the one inch spacer in so right now the spacer is in and this is it. I can yank it out of here since I'm actually sitting. There are also a couple flaps here on the front for SD cards or compact flash cards, which I would absolutely never use. One of the most ridiculous things in the world, and it doesn't make any difference because you're never going to use it, because this is one heavy-ass lens, and with the camera, you're talking a lot, a lot of weight. <laughs> Here's a belt loop on the back here. You know, I don't know what's up with Chinese people that... Uh, I don't know, do they think that like Americans have super belt? I mean, I don't care what sort of belt you got. It's going to pull your pants down. I mean, there's 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 no way that you're going to stick that. Uh, there's also no way that you would actually want to attach this to a, a camera backpack since uh, its the attachment is strictly Velcro and this would rip loose. So, I mean, I could ignore that. That's no big deal. Um, the uh, the buckles on the case are actually polymer, and uh, so are the clasps. I've actually got the uh, the shoulder harness uh, over in a drawer over there, but it comes with one identical to the one I have. The only difference, like I said, is the metal loops. And let me yank my camera out of here. I'm sitting in an odd position, so getting my camera lens out is hard. Where me sitting me, with me sitting at the table like this. So here we go. We have the 200 to 500 Nikkor and the uh, Nikon D500. Like I said, I did try it with a vertical grip and it does fit fine, which seems hard to believe. Here's the uh, spacer fishing down here that actually comes with it. It's about a one inch spacer. And, uh, and the, the fit is uh, perfect. Uh, it's 30 for $35, considering uh, other bags like this actually uh, cost a lot of money. And uh, actually the stitching and uh, the fit, finish, and quality on this is worth $35. It's, uh, it's a good deal. I wouldn't say it's the best deal in the world, but it's also, you know, for $35, considering what it is, it's, it's perfect. Um, I've only uh, taken it out once uh, to use it, so do I have extensive use with it? No, but I mean, I know whether something's built well or not. I mean, I've handled enough product to know uh, the zippers are actually above standard uh, compared to uh, a lot of cheap zippers that will actually rip right off the zips. And uh, quality construction so far as it falling apart, it's worth every bit of 35 bucks. It's also very lightweight, but it's not chintzy. So it's called an ape case. So I'll give you the link below where you can snag one on Amazon. Like I said, obviously 200 to 500. Also, uh, the uh, 80 to uh, 400 and some other lenses would work fine. Um, I know for a fact that it holds my 300 2.8 perfectly. My 400 millimeter, it's uh, too small for that, but my 300 2.8 fits fine with uh, any camera without the vertical grip. Um, and that's about it. So that's it. It's the 8 case. I would never ever think. It also does come when you want to get it off your shoulder with this uh, really nice uh, handle here so you're not actually taking it off 
of your shoulder where you're relieving it off of a single pressure point uh, when you've got an extremely heavy lens and camera like this it's best to remove the load off your shoulder by lifting it up like this and then taking the shoulder strap off there's also a danger of dropping it simply if you only had a shoulder strap so the fact that they actually added this handle is actually incredibly important it makes it a lot better product easy to take on and off so that's it what else can you say about a damn bag right so Several people asked me about that, and I think it's a great option for 35 bucks. Okay, bye.